The corresponding angle theorem is more often known as the F pattern due to the shape that's made with the parallel lines. When two parallel lines are intersected by a third line, often called a traversal, the angles that are in the same relative position are called corresponding and they are equal in size. The F itself needs to have the two parallel lines making the horizontal part of the letter in order for this to work. So find yourself those two parallel lines, one, two, and then use the traversal to create an F pattern of some kind. Now, I know that corresponding angles use the inner corners of the F most often. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to point to the two angles that are in the same relative position. What I mean by that is that you have a little cross here and a little cross here, and both of these angles are in the bottom right-hand corner of their respective cross. This angle is going to be the same as that angle. And this angle size is going to be the same as that angle size. And this angle is going to be the same as that angle. Those are all sets of corresponding angles. But what matters to us here is the fact that if that's 92 degrees, then that one has to be 92 degrees as well. You're supposed to cite your source here. My school calls it PLT-F for Parallel Line Theorem F Pattern. Let's try it again over here. We need to use the two parallel lines for the horizontal portions of the F. And I'm gonna draw those on the same side of the traversal as the angles I'm being asked about. And now because I need this to be an inner corner, I'm probably gonna go upward from there. You can kind of see that there's an F there. In fact, if I rotate this, now you can see the F, right? the inner corners of that F have to be the same size. So if that one was 58 degrees, that one was 58 degrees. PLTF, press F to pay respects. You can do it when you are given variables like X as well. It's the same idea. I'm being given an angle here and there. So I think I'm gonna use that and that for my F use the traversal as well so my inner corners are there and there. Now corresponding angles are equal so 4x is the same as 5x minus 30 and this is just an equation that I have to solve. To create that equation I used PLTF so there we go. Now I'm going to move 5x to the other side. I think I'm going to end up with negative x equals negative 30. Hopefully it's obvious that those negatives just cancel, but you can divide both sides by negative one if you want. X turned out to be 30 here. Four times 30 would give me a 120 degree angle there. Five times 30 is 150. Minus an extra 30 would give me 120 degrees there. They are equal, just like corresponding angles should be. What a beautiful thing. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck. F.